Hi friends! Today we're gonna do a very late wrap up for October. In the month of October, I read a whopping four books. I was calling October Arctober because I had a lot of arcs to read. Guess how many of those I read? One. Let's talk about that one first. So the arc that I read this month was Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan. I gave that a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Here's my thing with this book. It was way weird and I will link all of my reviews in the description box below on Goodreads so that you can check those out if you want to know like more full thoughts where I actually take time and break everything down on my rating scale and kind of give you a better idea of how I rated everything. But like it was weird. Like it was real weird. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this book. It, it was it was in case you missed, it was weird. It's one of those things, it reminds me a lot of Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuhalke, where it's just like, there was so much going on that I didn't understand that like, I don't know if it made me like it more or made me like it less, but I ended up really enjoying it and crying, but also there was some crap I really didn't like. So it's like, it's really, it was real weird. Like, it's not often that I read a book that I finish it and I'm not sure how I feel. About it. Like I can't tell you whether I hated it or I loved it at the end. So it was one that I really desperately needed the rating scale that I have in order to figure out how to rate it because it was just I don't know I don't know how anybody is able to rate this book. I don't know it real weird. Mm -hmm. So what I did enjoy was the main character. can't remember her name right now because I read it earlier this month. Or I read it about a month ago now because it's like the 10th of November. But I enjoyed the main character I love the story arc of what she goes through and just the family dynamic that she has. The book came out October 31st so I did read it before it came out which means it's the only arc I've done that for this year pretty much. The, the book follows a girl whose brother died three years prior and her family has never really moved on from that. Um, her mother is a drug addict, her dad kind of ignores the family as a whole, and she just has become this hermit who doesn't talk to anyone, doesn't do anything, and she feels like it's her fault that her brother died. When I was sold this arc, it was sold to me as two girls that write letters to guys on death row, and I was like, that's interesting. I wasn't walking into this knowing that I was getting little brother death. But if you read the synopsis of the book, it's on there. It just wasn't sold to me that way, which is fine. Anyway, new girl moves in across the street. She's got some weird hobbies and some weird family members. And I think if you are familiar with the pagan ideal of the mother maiden crone, then these women will make a lot more sense to you. If you are not as familiar with it, it probably will be a little weird for you or maybe even a big surprise for you how everything all ends up. It's, really, it's, a, it's a real weird story. <laughs> so the things that I didn't like was uh, the neighbor girl that moved in. Again, I cannot remember her name right now, but the neighbor girl that moved in, I did not like her character. She was just off the wall and did not. I, mean, I guess that's the point, but I didn't like her. I don't have to. I mean, I guess it was just, it was just very different. And, and I think if you like weird stories or if you like things that are contemporary with just where you have to disbelieve just enough to for the weird part of it, I think you would enjoy it. If you like watching a family grow from trauma, you would probably enjoy it. It's one of those ones that's just so hard to explain. And, and I think you have to read it and you have to experience it for yourself to truly know if it is something you would enjoy. Because again, I read it and I'm not sure if I liked it or not. I'm having a mental breakdown right now as we speak, trying to figure out whether I liked this book or not. 3.75 out of 5 stars. So I enjoyed it. I liked it. I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. I, I don't know. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Let's go to something easier. Let's go to the TMI graphic novel, volume 3. This just came out on like the end of... October. Um, I gave this a four out of five stars. I love these. Um, this one follows the first half of book two of the Mortal Instruments. So the first half of City of Ashes. It ends, is it spoilery to say it ends after Jace's first trip to the boat? If you have read it before, you'll know what that means. If you haven't read it before, you won't. Um, but yeah, it ends right after Jace's first trip to the boat. I enjoyed it. I don't love Cassandra Jean's artwork. Like I totally appreciate it because it's not something that I could do. Um, in comparison to the stick figures that I draw, it's great. 
but I have been reading a lot more graphic novels and there are other art styles that I like more than this. Doesn't mean I don't like it, it just means that it's not my favorite art style and I think that's why I didn't give it a five. Again, Cassandra Jean, I love that she brings these characters to life and she brings them to life in a way that is a way that I would see them. I definitely can see them, the characters as they were written and how I seen them in my brain on the page. It's just not my favorite art style and that's okay. Next is There's Something Out There by PJ Knight. This is the fifth book in the Creepover series. I planned on reading all of these this month. There's like 13 of them. Um, I'm only on book five. I read the last four last year. I read one this year. I think part of my problem is I'm trying to hold my spooky books for October and I need to stop doing that because out of my 200 on red books probably 150 of them are spooky books and I can't read all of those in October. That's crazy. So I need to just start reading them all the time. I gave this a four out of five stars. Um, this one is a four on the creepo meter and I kind of agree with that. Um, it has a creepo meter on the back. And I definitely agree with that level of creepiness. It's just creepy enough. I did really enjoy this one. I'm enjoying the series as a whole. They are really fun. Um, they follow um, mid-grade age girls who have sleepovers and they're spooky and they never expressly say how old any of them are. Like I'm in the fifth book and I don't think I've figured out how old any of them are but I know it's a mid-grade book so I'm assuming that the girls are mid-grade age. And the last book is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I've heard some people really really loved this and they loved the twist in it and the twist is the reason why I didn't rate it higher. I guess I should tell you what it's about too. I'm really bad at this lately. Anyway, this book is about a girl who takes a job as an apartment sitter in a really ritzy high rise and there are a lot of rules that she has to follow including not telling anyone she lives there, not having any friends over, not talking to any of the residents, not talking to anybody else that lives there, not talking to anybody about anything and not telling people she's there, which is creepy. And your first clue. I had it figured out on page 30. I made a note in my Goodreads update that I, I actually don't read that because I actually wrote in what I thought was going on and that was exactly what was going on. So on page 30 I knew the big twist at the end and that's rough. I knew what was happening but not why. So the why was interesting but I don't know I just never felt fully surprised by this in any way. Like I knew who the bad people were like the second they walked on screen. Like I knew that they were shady and kind of what their motivations were within like a page or two of meeting them. So there was nothing that was really huge that was just like, uh. So you ask, why did I give it a 3.5 out of five stars? I enjoyed the writing style. Um, the writing style for me was really fun and I really liked the main character. And that's Jazzy outside howling slash whining because she feels like she's being ignored and that's possible. But I just, I enjoyed the writing style and I enjoyed like the historical aspect of it where there have been creepy things going on in this place for many years and part of the main character figuring out what's happening is her doing research and studying what had happened in the previous years and I enjoy that about a story. I enjoy stories where they look up and try to solve old murders and old things that have happened and there's even um, her sister went missing when they were younger so there's also that aspect of it where you know she's at some point still trying to figure out what hap had happened to her sister and it's just a really interesting story in that aspect and I do like that aspect of it. If you check out the full review on Goodreads I, I have everything broke down on how I rated it and why and I think that if this and especially Resurrection Girls um, if you're like I don't understand go check out that review and that will kind of explain how I got to where I got with everything because sometimes it takes that to kind of figure it out and that's why I have the rating scale that I have and not just like hmm, this book was okay four stars like I try to break everything down and rate it I have a video about that and I'll link it in the description box below as well on how I rate books so those were three of the four books that I read this month um, if you've read any of these if you have thoughts about them leave them in the description box below I would love to chat about the books with you because after all that's why we're here. If you have any specific questions about any of those, feel, please feel free to ask that as well. Um, if you feel like I missed something or glossed over something that you want to know, I would be happy to discuss that with you further. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>